we're going to talk today about um, the uh, the uh, life of Job, and also another Bible character is uh, Joshua. First, I want to begin this with a prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the wisdom that you guide me through the scriptures with. I thank you that I can receive what words of wisdom you can, that I sow into people's lives and that I can return back to me. Let me use what I work for, for the goodness of God, and let all things be said clearly today. Amen. So, uh, I want to talk about Job. Um, so, uh, Job was an Edomite. How do we know this? Because I looked it up on the internet. Um, um, who, who, who were, who were Job's descendants, or who, 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 who was Job descended from? And he was a descendant of Esau. Let me make this clear. I break no ice in the ill part of believing this that it is false but it's not false it is all true Job so if you're a descendant of Esau which is European you are righteous if you're related to Esau you are rich um, and Job was one of the bad ass prophets of the Old Testament Bible that we can relate to on a scale of how Satan attacks us. We can relate to Job, how he perseveres and has a, has a conversation with God about many things. And first of all, Job says, I'm a loathsome, loathsome person and no one shows pity upon me. So basically he's going through the suffering alone and every outsider is seeing what suffering he's going through and um, they don't pity him. How awful that is that you can be sifted like Peter, the apostle, sifted like wheat by Satan because Satan delights in destroying his believers. He, delight, he delights in, in, in the destruction of his believers. So, um, yeah, Job is a descendant of Esau. Now, there's another story. Zechariah chapter 3, verse 1 through 10. In fact, let me look it up for you. Zechariah. Habakkuk. Zephaniah. Zechariah. Here it is. <clears throat> so it says here. Then he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right side to accuse him. The Lord said to Satan, Who has chosen Jerusalem? Rebuke you. Is not this man a burning stick snatched from the fire? And right there, let me pause there. Burning stick snatched from the fire. There's a thing called a brand. A brand is a, a log in the fire that is all charcoal and burning hot ready to be consumed completely by the fire and then you you want to snatch that log out and save it for another fire that's what a brand is and in the lord's referring to joshua as a burning stick snatched from the fire or as a brand and um the lord said to satan the lord rebuke you satan the lord who has chosen jerusalem rebuke you is not this man a burning snake snatched from the fire? Now Joshua was dressed in filthy clothes as he stood before the angel. The angel said to those who were standing before him, Take off his filthy clothes. And he said to Joshua, See, I have taken away your sin, and I will put fine garments on you. Then I said, Put a clean turban on his head. So they put a clean turban on his head. And clothed him while the angel of the Lord stood by. The angel of the Lord gave this charge to Joshua. This is what the Lord Almighty says. If you would walk in obedience to me and keep my requirements, 
then you will know you will govern and I will give you a place among these among these standing here listen high priest Joshua you and your associates seated before you who are men symbolic of things to come I am going to bring my servant the branch see the stone I've set in front of Joshua he says he's gonna bring his servant the branch Jesus in the Old Testament Zechariah, it's a prophecy. I will bring my branch. Well, also, the Lord is a vine. And um, there are seven eyes on that one stone. Seven eyes. And I will engrave the inscription on it, says the Lord Almighty. And I will remove the sin of this land in a single day. And that day, each of you will invite your neighbor to sit under your vine and fig tree, declares the Lord. So we're invited to this fig tree, vine branch, worshiping thing. There's another story, Moses. Verse 9 in the book of Jude. Right? Verse 9 in the book of Jude. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm taking a minute here to look this up. Okay, it says in verse 9. Uh, we'll read verse 8 through 9. In the very same way, on the strength of their enemy dreams, these ungodly people pollute their own bodies, reject authority, and heap abuse on celestial beings. But even the archangel Michael, when he was disputing with the devil about the body of Moses, did not himself dare to condemn him for slander, but said, The Lord rebuke you. So, this is just like the story of Joshua and Job. Moses here is thought to be in a, a rough patch, uh, in the middle of a contention. Um, the devil between Michael, the archangel, and uh, they're contending over Mo Moses' body. Now, I don't know if this is over his body in the death of... In, I don't know. It's prophetic to me. I, I can't explain it. But um, in all rationale... Um, if you're being tested, and you are a Hebrew Israelite, and you find yourself in a situation where you choose God or you choose sin, you'll find the wise road to follow God in all you do. Don't don't fight fight false fights that you don't need to fight because God is with you. His strong hand is with you. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. Bye.